Hey everybody, your friendly neighborhood teacher here. I wanted to pop in before this especially difficult article that we're starting the semester with and give you just a basic introduction of what Wendy Kozel is talking about so that you don't find yourself lost or at times feeling like this article is disconnected from what we're doing here. It's actually a really good foundation. So for those of you that do find yourself struggling with it, and I struggled with it, Number one, know it's a really difficult article. It's graduate level, so it's okay to struggle with this stuff. But number two, don't give up on it because everybody in this class, especially by the end, will be more than capable of digging through stuff like this and figuring out what the author's talking about. So let's take a quick look at the high points using the actual New York or the Life article that you yourself can look at on this discussion post and see what exactly Wendy's getting at here. So this is the cover where she talks about Nixon actually cuddling with these two kids who are presented as refugees. And we think it's kind of weird, but we don't really notice because, as Kozel's saying, this represents the American norm, American values. The president is a father who's, tugging, who's hugging two little girls who are in need of comfort because they're refugees, they're on the run. Now, this is intermixed with other ads and other stories that are throughout the Life magazine that also represent the era, perhaps most relevantly on page two, right at the beginning of the magazine, a massive ad for the newest model of a floor model television, which to remind everybody at the time, TVs were getting big. So here's what the rest of the article looks like, and I'll walk you through it. Life uses these images that are supposed to evoke in us a sense of being there, a sense of having witnessed or experienced the event. So we can see it's the United States, there's fires, people are running for their lives. Uh, you can zoom in and see images of cars that everybody drives, homes that look very much like the typical US suburban home that are on the edge of fire. We're supposed to connect with these things and feel like, hey, that could be me. So people running away, things that make us feel like, oh, there's the American West, the people plowing through flames. Now they switch gears and they, pick back up on this refugee story. So you saw, you'll see some of these images in the actual article you're reading, but now we're getting an image of othering, which would mean seeing people that are supposed to strike the typical American viewer is different than them. But of course, they're conforming. So you see them looking at the West while they're going through a train. They're buying dolls in a capitalistic culture. They're meeting the president. They're hugging their dad goodbye as they get on a train gazing out the window during travel, jumping off the stairs of the front porch, standing in front of a suburban home, looking at wares at the nearest store, eating dinner as a family, grocery shopping, trying the newest fan-dangled capitalist product called Kleenex, which actually the caption says, watching television, women doing the laundry, domestic chores. Uh, there's another image of one of the men that's a refugee trying this new thing called Kleenex, which at the time was new. The family standing together as they unpack the groceries in the kitchen, going to school. These are images that are supposed to make us as viewers and as readers feel this in-between space of somebody coming from somewhere else who is different than we are, who than I am, but is trying to conform to what just feels right to the, the reader of this in the 1957s, which is, Co which is Kozel is gonna remind us is largely white, lower middle class people that are trying to get some idea of what's going on in the world. And of course you can see the flip side of this is I keep scrolling with images of other places where instead of conforming to the American ideal and the long list of things I was saying, they lean into the other side of that and they deliberately photograph people doing things that aren't typical in the United States, wearing clothes that aren't typical in the United States. Now, this is what Kozel is really going to dig into. And of course, as you can see where I stop here, there's also other markers of our cultural era at the time.